No, we keep this we keep the touch screen active at all times. It's it's actually funny if you go into our if you go in our software lab at, at Dell, there's like fingerprints yeah. all over. No, no, no. I mean, it's just in our office. There's fingerprints all over normal monitors because we can't tell which machines have touch and don't. And it's just it becomes you know you walk up behind someone's machine and you just start interacting with it because they've got their hands over the keyboard or something. So I oftentimes find myself you know. I'll have it in the clamshell mode of using the duo, but it's quicker to navigate by touching than to try and you know, articulate the mouse cursor over a certain area. So the, the touch screen on a clamshell mode is actually a fairly useful and valuable feature. So I don't know if any of you have seen these applications before. Uh, Microsoft, when they came out with the Surface, they worked with a bunch of design firms to come up with the, uh, a suite of applications. So this is actually from that application suite. And this is a, it's a 3D globe that's uh, leveraging Bing Maps. So, you know, very similar to Google Earth where you can actually kind of navigate around the map. They've implemented, you know, full multi-touch functionality so you can see, you know, as you pan and zoom and spin the globe. Can you change it a bit? Your viewing angle of your display is not very good. There you go. Sorry. <laughs> would, would that be better if you could have a photo sessions afterwards? <laughs> huh? More efficient. Yeah, I don't know. So this is an application where using the mouse it's, it's not as special of an experience. The zooming and the, you know you don't have the pinch zoom, you don't have any of the rotation or any of the you know the physics that's been built in here. You can do these sorts of things with the mouse, but the level of whimsy that you get out of something like that is just not there. So <coughs> this would be more along the lines of creating a full-blown touch-only experience where you would still be getting some value for mouse users or for traditional netbook users, but in reality you're trying to step the bar up in the hopes that you know your application really shines from a touch platform experience in something like the App Store. Can you tell us how many touch points uh, the display has? Like two, three? <laughs> well, apparently it's multi-touch. Yeah, it, it does at least two. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I guess capacitive. You get that? <laughs> it looks like it. So, no, I think that 